Hey everyone, it's Kirby with Epic Party Events, and in today's episode of What Parents Should Know, we're going to talk about a game. The first time ever. What game? Only the most popular game in the mobile game den, Minecraft. Now admittedly, I'm not very good at Minecraft. It's one of the few games in the game trailer I don't play very often, and so I'm what you would call a noob. Noob means somebody who is new to a game or just isn't good at the game. Newbie is also a word used that is the same. There may be a couple of terms in today's video you may not have heard before, and I will do my best in all of the videos to stop and explain video game terminology as I go through the video. Back to Minecraft. What is Minecraft? Minecraft at its core has two basic games. The first is a survival game. What is a survival game? Well, a survival game is a game that basically puts you into a hostile environment with nothing but the clothes on your back. And in some survival games, they don't even give you the clothes on your back. And it is your goal to achieve a life of quality, I guess you could say, in this game. It's not like Sims because the environment is very hostile. You start with literally nothing and you have to build everything. For example, you have to cut down a tree in order to build an axe to cut down trees more efficiently. And you have to mine for stone and iron, gold, all sorts of different things. That's why it's called Minecraft. And you have to melt those, iron, those ores down to create things like swords and armor. And back to the hostile part, I said that it was hostile because of two things. One... Uh, you have a food count. So if you're not eating enough, you will die. And you'll see the food bar. It looks like little chicken d drumsticks on the right-hand side at the bottom of the gameplay footage I'm showing right now. And then you have hearts, which is like basically damage you can take. The other reason that Minecraft ha is a hostile environment is at night it is flooded with monsters, skeletons, zombies, zombies that live in the water, things called creepers that blow up and at night you are not safe unless you're in a well-lit place with walls so that they cannot come and get you. So that is the essence of survival and again your whole goal is to basically travel if you would through the ages. You start in the stone age and then you get, can get yourself basically to the industrial age and in some uh, survival games, not Minecraft, you can go much further than like the industrial age. Now, the second game mode in Minecraft is called creative mode. And in that mode, you don't have to worry about surviving. You have unlimited health. You can fly. You don't need to eat. You don't have to build things. You can just have things, all the materials you want, unlimited supplies of it. Because in creative, the whole purpose is basically a virtual Lego game. You can basically build anything you want with Legos or Minecraft blocks in any way you are, would like. And the, the creativity that abounds from Minecraft is awesome. Minecraft creative mode is great for parents for one very good reason. It's like virtual Legos and you can't step on virtual Legos. So no more foot on fire sensation from the Lego bricks that your kid left out. And finally, the last thing we want to talk about in Minecraft is its age appropriateness. Well, Minecraft is pretty much great for all ages. The monsters are, everything in Minecraft is low res. There's no gore. It's pretty limited violence because you spend a lot of the time avoiding the monsters, not really fighting them. The only downside to Minecraft is I would say that it's creative. It's recipe building, which is recipes are basically what you get when you find materials and it teaches you how to build a sword or whatever. It's recipe building is not very intuitive. For younger kids, it could probably be pretty complicated and maybe difficult to pick up. Creative mode is much easier for younger kids to handle. That would be the only drawback, and that's for really younger kids. Six, maybe seven would have a hard time with survival. Everybody else would probably be able to pick it up. So as far as my rating goes for Minecraft, as it's an A+. Plus. Kids love it. Even teenagers love it. You can have up to four players on the same console at the same time. And 
that is pretty great that means that you know if you have multiple kids they can all play together and that's it that's all there is about minecraft that you really need to know to have a basic understanding passing knowledge if you will the knowledge you now have about minecraft is probably better than well i would say 90 percent of the parents out there so use it to talk with your kids and have a great time uh, learning more as they can tell you much more than i can i'm sure next week we're going to hit the second most popular game in the game trailer and that is well you'll have to watch and find out next week thanks for watching it's kirby with what parents should know about video games once again and we'll see you in the next episode